Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, here with part 4 of my Skaven campaign in Warhammer 2. Uh, here we have Lord Skrulk. He's heading over to Chupayotl to undertake a treasure hunt over there. We've got another army up here under Skrull. And we were going to head up for Guacmol Crater, but it looks like the dwarves are going to get there first. Uh, we've managed to secure this province and we're now working on uh, this one down here. And we're working on alliances with the Clan Spittle and Vampire Coast. So everything is pretty much in order. Lord not moved. Um, so let's go and do the treasure hunt straight away. Okay. Venturing down into the dank, dimly lit catacombs beneath the ruined city, you discover an ornate tomb. Knowing that such places often contain the owner's treasures and life, you prize open its door. Inside, it is somewhat oddly bare, except for a large sarcophagus and an unidentified artefact, half buried in the dirt. Um, I think we'll just take the artefact this time around. Fencer's Blades. Oh, excellent. Plus six melee defense and attack. Okay. Uh, I am the play god. Weapon strength plus six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I will give him the fencer's blades. Uh, okay, so you're done there. Over here, um, they want to. I was planning to recruit more units into this army, but I don't think I will right now. I imagine they're going to have a bit of a fight. Well, wait a minute. The I think the Southern Sentinels go first, so they're going to pull back. I would imagine into the settlement, and then they'll attack. Uh, or maybe I'll siege. So I think what I'm going to do just now actually is, if I can, just move into that province and raid. I can't. 50% movement range for raiding. Oh well, we learn something every day. In that case, let's pop back into our own province. And... You don't have any missile units, so I'll take some Skaven Slingers then. Uh, diplomacy, Clan Spittle, relations are improving. Ah, defensive alliance. How about 700? Okay, how about 900? Cool. 11? Alright. So back down to 700, that should be okay. Two! I think I'm cheap. Make it five. Okay, happy with that. Uh, how about a trade agreement? Fine. Military alliance, or no? I think we'll leave that just now. We'll come back next turn, see if we can get more money for an alliance. Uh, we could do some building. That would increase growth. Okay, so that would increase growth by 12. I think this one was just by 10. Yep, right, so we'll build the nest layer for additional growth. And I think that's us for now then. So let's move on. So, we have some sentinels. Move in to the Guacamol crater. And then Spain of Sotek Dwarfs. 
uh, lay siege. Okay. How are things with us and the dwarf? Come then, messenger. Spit out you. They're improving. Okay, we'll leave them alone for now, <laughs> as if we're much of a choice. And Clan Spittle while I'm here. How about Military Alliance now? Military Access to start with. Let's try and build up slowly. No. Join war? No, I'm not joining any war right now, thank you. Okay, I might need to go to their assistance if we don't want them to be wiped out. Uh, settlement level. We've got lots of food. So let's go straight to level 3. And... Yep, that would give us an extra 150 income, that's good. Now, this is going to be a recruiting area. So, what we're going to build up here. Uh, what we're looking at, yep, so. If I. Went to get these guys. No, I'm just thinking, trying to think this through, right? So, this needs both the warp turbine plant and the warp forge. So, if I build those two here, it takes up two slots. No, yeah, I've still got a couple left, so I think that's what I'll do. Do these guys need the, the warp forge and construction cavern? So over here, if I build the warp forge and the construction cavern, yeah, okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. Warp turbine plant. Yep. So... Start building the clan pit here. And... I think we'll hold off just now. I'd like to get the growth in there. You... Um, let's move you slightly further into the province and then go into raiding stance now. That'll do us. And I can move on again. How's the public order looking here? Oh good. That's fine. Positive. Leave that for now. this peace, I bet you. No, we're not going to accept a peace treaty. I should have accepted it for a payment, actually, because they're about to be wiped out, I think. Okay. Uh, mission issued. Research the technology. And Pestilent Nave Assassin's Hideout or Warp Forge to be constructed. And capture and occupy the following settlement, Altar of the Horned Rat. Um, I think that begin belongs to Clan Spittle. Yes, it does. So I'm probably not going to complete that one then. Um, because I'm trying to confederate with them rather than occupying. But, never mind. Let's get you moving. Head down towards Slanthek. 
and we want you to encamp on the way for the recuperation. I wonder actually just Yeah, there's there's no real hurry, let's uh, just move you to there just now. And if you encamp that will do fine. And you're still reading up there. Let's check out diplomacy. Stephen Warlord! Still improving. Then you take a military alliance. But then you'll drag me into that war. Ah, cheeky. Yes, master. Okay. So I think I'm just going to take this one step at a time. It is time. Uh, I don't want to get dragged into their war. Although it may be the best time to be dragged into it, to be honest. But I do want to, I want to secure this province um, before we start heading out anywhere. Spread our own corruption. So that reduces com recruitment slightly. It gives a bit more growth. I think I'm going to hold off just now. I'm going to build this here. Something that's needed over here at all, is it? And now I'm trying to remember. Here we're going to build the warp turbine plant and the warp forge. So. Actually, what am I doing? Right, so that'll need the construction cavern and the warp forge. So I may as well build this here. Get the night runners. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Lord not moved, that's fine. Research available. The ruthless plans. Okay. So we can move on again. So the dwarves continue the siege. Uh, research the technology. They are still sieging it, yeah. We we'll just continue to raid for it. Well, should I come over here? Why not? Um, you need fifty percent movement stance. Should I just... I think I'm just going to use the underweight get over here. And then we'll read next turn. You can come down if I put you into normal stance. Oh, 
Actually, you can come right up to the border then and still get the replenishment. And like some another turn that will be complete. So we could build this up, but don't need it right now. So let's instead keep our cash. They went to start the construction cavern. So I'll leave that as it is. Uh, We'll start researching harsh production quotas and move on. I many poxes to trial. You no. I'm a bit concerned. Not concerned. A bit worried now that if. I tried to build up military alliance towards confederation. Now that I've encountered them, they will just attack us. Southern Sentinels have been obliterated. And they've taken the settlement. Do I want to bother taking this? I suppose we can at least do a treasure hunt. While searching through the ruins of the city, almost levelled by war, you notice an unfamiliar band of scavengers peeking carefully through the ruins. Potentially, this is not good, as one wrong word could see you all dead. How do you wish to proceed? Offer to help them research. Attack them. Yeah, let's go with that. Your gut feeling was correct. You join up with the scavengers to search the ruins. However, after a few hours they disappear, along with some of your belongings. So we lose 500. Uh, magic item drop chance reduced by 50%. Well, yeah, well, that be a lesson to you. And now, like so. Assassin, gutter runner, slingers, and gutter runners. That, I think, looks better right now than going for this, because that would only give us the poison wind globed ears. Just not to be sneezed at. Armor piercing missiles. Um, but this would give us, well, we've got, we can't build Plague Lock Catapults, though. Plague Claw. No. I think I would rather build this at the moment. And what can we do in here? Extra income. Reduced recruitment costs, extra income, index of growth. I think I'll go for the rubbish pit. One spittle now. We have watched for long, long time. Military alliance. Now we make you another. Still moderate. Uh, 700. Good. So that will be us in the war now. Right, so again, just take it slowly and camp and get back up to full strength. we will need enough. And then we'll go on treasure hunt and then occupy a settlement. We're going to be very weak if we do occupy that settlement. I don't know if it's worth it really. Let's move on anyway. 
think I might just raid that territory. And that should also give us some extra opinion. With Clan Spittle. Uh, vampire counts. Oh, awesome. Um, we've got a mission for this. I'll accept your demanding proposal if you give me some cash. Defensive Alliance. Um, Four hundred. Uh, make it five, and you get yourself a deal, or six. Trade agreement in two. <laughs> okay, make it five, and you get yourself a deal. Good. So that should have completed a mission. It did. Another thousand in the treasury. Eight warp stone. Now up at eighty-five. Awesome. Let's get you yeah, somewhere. No, you need to be able to read. So 80% ambush chance. Just for a wee bit of extra protection and read in there. Yeah, so that should give us some extra opinion with the uh, clan spittle. You guys can now come in treasure hunt in Xlansic. Xlansic. Uh, after a large battle, bodies litter the ground and the stench of death fills the air. It appears that the defenders were protecting the entrance to a small warehouse. Pondering on its contents, you wonder whether it was really worth dying for. Let's investigate the warehouse. The spoils of war. There's a collection of what looks like elven statues inside the warehouse. An art dealer of yours acquaintance will happily take them off your hands for an excellent price. So we get 1,000 in the treasury. Meh. Yeah. A bit disappointing to be honest. But we'll occupy that settlement. Whoa. Your Citadel of dust. manners may amuse the court, but frankly, they offend me. Mm. Hoity toity elves. Very unfriendly, minus 45. Okay. So we need to keep an eye to this lot then. But yeah, we'll take Slansek next turn. Not to build any of this up yet. There's no point building that up because they don't have the other buildings for it. Okay, well, that would give the next 150 income. Or I could for the construction thing. What's the construction for? Oh yeah, the work forge. Rat overs. Do I need them yet? Don't think so. Just, I don't want to jump ahead and build that too early, if you see what I mean. Uh, I think I will just go for the underdogs just now, and we can get this up to level 2. And we'll leave that as it is for now. Go 
Blackman Spittle wants the story now. He won't join a confederation. Yes, Why yes. not? Very important I am. So we treat the bargain. Attitude is improving. Okay, fine then. Uh, the story here. Oh, unfriendly. Okay, we're going to. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to put a break in here. In the next part, we'll move on and continue trying to confederate with Clan Spittle and securing this province down here. And try and find out a bit more about Citadel of Dusk. Uh, Prince of so they have one settlement. It would be ideal if they had none settlements. So I might actually divert over here, hit this, rather than weaken the army in Slantic. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and rate the video, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.